Hi, my name is Honza and welcome to New Manchester. This is the fourth episode of this series. I don't know if it will be a mini-series or a full-on series. And in this episode we will be building a small, well, small, a decent sized new development which was built because of a housing crisis. At least that's my head cannon. And yeah, I did some stuff off camera like more transit, I think. Yeah, I added a bus line and a smaller district, which I was just messing around and I decided to keep it. So I have now a template for when I'll be building suburban sprawl. And yeah. Also, you may have noticed, I finally added music, because I figured out how to use the YouTube mu music library. So yeah, enjoy some fr free music I got. Yeah, this new part of ta town will be actually the first place in the city to have a higher capacity mode of transit. Well, if you c consider those articulated buses a high capacity mode of transit, yeah, it could be debated, but it is the first part of s the city to have a truly high capacity, because it will have the first line of light railway. Which means I now have to come up with a way of explaining it. My explanation so far is that it was built in either the 90s or the 2000s because people were starting to get really stressed out about either climate change or were just hungry for transit and also because people wanted it and so the development company when they saw that you know trams and other st stuff like this like light railway and s such were gaining popularity they built it so they would sell it for higher prices which is exactly the way how was it? Yeah, the Pacific Electric w worked. They basically built a huge network to, and they built basically a line in the middle of nowhere and sold the land around it. So they would have some quick, easy profits of the land or from the land. And this kind of thing is very risky, well not very risky, extremely, extremely risky because then you have to maintain the lines. And so in the, when was it? Well, later on the lines were in bad shape so they were dismantled in the 1950s I think. Yeah, it were, was 1950s when the streetcar conspiracy because was in full swing because of General Motors. They basically bought out the lines and the companies and replaced them with buses or just d destroyed them and ran them to the ground because the car was king at that time. Everyone wanted a car. Well, this w that was some sort of small history lesson about American city planning, which I heard from some w from the wise people over at YouTube transit channels because yeah, that was really interesting to hear because I always wondered why transit in Mer in America was so bad. Now I know. Well. 
what I'm doing now in the gameplay. Now I'm building the road layout and adding some paths but at this time there won't be any path or not as much path because I forgot so yeah I might do what I do best and detail it and add other stuff off camera because yeah that does mean that I don't have to be stressed or but and have to do it quick and yeah also when I you might notice it in a bit that when I pick or search for stuff the camera is moving extremely that's because I have the attention span of a goldfish or something so yeah I need to do something while I search for stuff yeah. I added those buildings if you may have noticed I basically used like two or three types of buildings I used basically modern condos by clues I also used what was it called? I used American apartments I, and I think it was King Leno I really don't remember but it's quite a it's a great asset and then Astargia pla flats or something I don't know and those are mid-rise flats and or apartments I got a while ago in a sort of jokingly using the British accent and now I actually use it yeah funny story might tell it later so yeah now I'm adding different trees so it doesn't seem so you know so it doesn't look like housing estates in communist Czechoslovakia which were basically made they would cut down all the trees and destroy other settlements aside from Jeho Zapadní Město in Prague and they left and some places there were left some stuff standing but for example in Jeho Zapadní Město in Prague they left only a small part of the original village of Stodulky and it is meant as a museum of how people used to live and there was a sort of scandal some time ago where some of our local big youtubers there are that are actually not that liked they faked a video about Cherno Chernobyl in there so yeah people quickly called them out So yeah, I'm trying to not build it like a kami block flat. How's yeah, kami block estate. And yeah, now I'm just looking around the city, and yeah, I try to look. And I also now that I'm complete with the build, basically. I tried banning some of those annoying donut vans and bug, scr bug spray vans because they don't look good. They are pretty annoying, so I removed them. And so now the only vans we will have are those normal vans that don't look as bad. Now I also added some trees and bushes so it doesn't feel as empty but and now I found a way to name this place also I think it was beach hills or something yeah I often use those random names that the game generates because I'm too lazy coming up with my names except 
for example street if I like a name I extend the street far farther or make my own if it's like paying homage to something I like yeah. now I'm adding a small bus line so that people can you know transfer to the light railway and also I'm adding a how it's called again yeah I'm expanding the intersection and making it go only in one way so the trams can go faster around it and I also remove some crossings so yeah and yeah I'm now just looking at it and for example banning parking on the main line so that people don't accidentally crash into the trams or streetcars depends on the location if you are from my city you actually say something even different but that's for another time so yeah if you like this video like it if you really liked it subscribe and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.